Jen, we want to turn on to NBC's <sighs> Jacob Sobroff, who was just in Haiti recently to get a first-hand look mm -hmm. at what's happening there. And, Jacob, I, I know this was these dangers were very much on your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the situation there? Savannah, the threat of kidnappings were everywhere. It affected everything we did and everywhere we went. We couldn't even go to the U.S. Embassy on their recommendation in the hours of the evening because they said it was too dangerous to make our way there. Even international aid organizations like the United Nations, who we traveled with to the earthquake-stricken southern peninsula, made us travel on their airplane and on their helicopter because the roads were impassable uh, due to those gangs. We also went on the outskirts of Port-au-Prince to a clinic run by Doctors Without Borders. Half of the patients there are victims of gun violence, kidnappings, uh, or even a threat to the doctors in hospitals uh, like that one, just like the missionaries face themselves. Well, there's been a spike in those kidnappings, Jacob, and we were just listening uh, to Sam's report, and he was saying that there's nowhere to go. You can't go to police. So what can be done to stop this? Well, they call it insecurity. The country is in a state of insecurity, uh, Hoda. And it is not just the political uh, instability there with the assassination of the president, extreme poverty and hunger. You also have everywhere you go on the streets, the threat of violence to everyday individuals and international aid organizations. And you heard that former uh, special envoy to Haiti, Daniel Foote, who resigned the Biden administration in protest of policies of this administration in Haiti, say until you get the security situation stabilized, nothing else is going to be fixed. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, Jacob Silveroff, really a uh, good perspective to have this morning. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.